Hello and welcome. I would like to share my experience in building a shelf layout. This is the window ledge that I will be using. As you can see, there is no room here for loops. Only a linear setting would work here and that's what I plan to build. Let us start with taking some suitable track. This is Pico R4. Looking at the loco now, I have a fine Backman branch line class 24 here. This is my only DC loco as all the others have been chipped. I have now arranged the track here on the ledge and this is connected with a simple DC controller. The track is held down with blue tag. The class 24 now rolls in. Note the elegant headlamps. There are some challenges in this simple arrangement. First is that the direction needs to be changed manually when the train reaches the ends. Second is that poorly timed switch can lead to an overrun. As we can see here, Inspector Snow is unhappy with this overrun and is keen to inspect the damage. Such an overrun is surely undesirable for your precious locomotive. What do we do now? Here is a simple solution. We create traps using diodes at the end of the line to avoid any overrun. This allows the power to be cut off and stop the locomotive till the polarity is reversed. Let's do one for each end here. Now let's see the traps in action. They are installed at the end of the line on both sides. The loco crosses the trap and comes to a rest before the end of the line. It will sit here till the polarity is reversed. Here is an overhead view. You can see the diodes out here. The power is cut off the moment the last conducting wheel crosses the trap. Your locomotive remains safe. Now the circuit to reverse the polarity. I downloaded this off the internet. The key component here is a six point relay switch which will be used to alternate the polarity. Other components for the circuit include a suitable board, a triple five timer IC which will control the timing of the pulse sent to the relay. Here I am using a socket for the IC to protect it during the soldering process. This is a 7812 chip to regulate the voltage. We will be using plenty of diodes as per the circuit design and suitable resistors. This is a variable resistor or potentiometer to control the pulse width and finally suitable capacitors. Here I have found a neat box to hold the circuit. All the components before were purchased online. This is how the final assembly looks like. Please note the monitor LED and the visible movement in the relay switch. The up and down motion is what will alternate polarity. I plan to use direction LEDs in the final assembly. Here is a close up view of the relay in action. Separate power is being used for the circuit and for the track. The unit is now all wired up and connected to the track. Back to the ledge now with the new assembly. Please note the direction LEDs on the circuit box. The loco gently rolls to a stop and reverses. Let us zip across to see the same action at the other end of the line. Again, a perfect halt and back again. Note the change in loco lights due to the direction change. This class 24 is really well put together. Extremely smooth motion even at low speeds. This is difficult to believe that is in DC. Let us pull back and see the action from behind. Smooth and seamless motion. Really great to have this in your bedroom. Who needs a loop and tight radii? This shelf layout does it better. What next now? Possibly a station at each end and a two car DMU doing the rounds. Ginger here, thanks you for watching.